Good arm? This, no, but good side? I, no, because I've got my whatever here. So oh, you can't I'm switch? Up. Yeah, I can't, can't switch. switch. No. no. <laughs> This is Roundabout Davis Cup in Toronto. We're here with Milos Ramich. We're going to give him a skill, skill testing quiz about Grand Slam tournaments. Yes. We're going to start out with the Australian Open. Where was the Australian Open held before it moved to Melbourne Park? Kuyang. Well, one for one, Milos. One for and one. Mistakes that's right, correct? and okay. you're correct. What's the most significant thing that Rod Laver accomplished in his career? Winning all four titles in the same year twice, all four Grand Slams. Two for two, Milos. I don't know. Here we go that's to the an French Open. <laughs> Go to the French Open. Who was Roland Garros? That's a good question. Uh, I'm guessing a former tennis player. No, Roland Garros was a, actually a rugby player, and the grounds was given to the Tennis Federation by the Rugby Federation. He was also a war hero, first guy to fly. He was an aviator, first guy to fly across the Mediterranean. Six other players have won the French Open, but only once each. How many of those six players who've won the French Open since 2000 and won one time can you name? Albert Costa, Juan Carlos Ferrero, Novak Djokovic, Stan Wawrinka, Roger Federer, and uh, um, the guy from uh, uh, Argentina. He beat uh, Guillermo Correa in the final. GG. Uh, Guido... Gaston. Gaston Gaudio. Okay, very good. Wimbledon, in the 1920s, Wimbledon moved from Warple Road to Church Road. And the main reason they moved is because there was a huge star in tennis at that time who was a female and they needed more room for a bigger stadium. What was the name of that female star in the 1920s? No ideas. You've heard that name when you play at the French Open. Margaret, no, not Margaret Court. She has to be Suzanne Langlin. That's right. But you, but she's, not, uh, she's English. No, she's French, but oh, she but was a big star in the 1920s. That's why they had to need the bigger stadium. So now at Wimbledon, since 2000, the big four have monopolized the titles at Wimbledon. Yes. Only two other guys have won Wimbledon since, since uh, 2000, since Pete Sampras won 2000. Yes. Who are those two guys? Uh, Goran Ivanisevic. Okay, if you got that one wrong, you're in big Wayne trouble. Hewitt. That's right, very good. So we move on to the U.S. Open. Arthur Ashe Stadium, the stadium is named after Arthur Ashe. He won Wimbledon in 1975. It was a huge win, and who did he beat in the final? I know he won the first U.S. Open in 1968 too. Yeah. But who did he beat? And I have no idea who he beat at Wimbledon. Uh, you said 65. In 75. 75. Very well-known American player. Wasn't. Connors? That's right, Connor. Last question: um, When Novak Djokovic won this year's uh, U.S. Open, he ended a string of four different players winning the U.S. Open the previous four years. Who were those four different players? Um, Rafa last year. The year before that, Stan Wawrinka, and the year before that, Marin Cilic. And then the year before that, or in between there? In between there, um, Novak. That's right. 